So we now focus on the Eulerian path problem and try to learn more about De Bruyne graphs. So we saw that to reconstruct the genome, we need to find an Eulerian path in this graph. But some of you noticed that I cheated. I constructed the De Bruyne graph from genome. But in real life, genome is unknown. The only thing that is known is reads or k-mers. Can we reconstruct the De Bruyne graph from co uh, genome composition rather than from genome? Well, let's try to do this. But let's first review what we have done. What we have shown is that given a genome, we can construct De Bruyne graph. What we want to do is, given genome composition or KMR composition of the genome, we want to construct the genome. What we will show now is that given KMR composition, we can construct the brain graph and then, using Euler's inside, construct all rarian passes in this graph. Let's start. So in the past, we construct, we started from a pass uh, representing the genome. But now genome is unknown. What is known is only composition of the genome, and we will represent this composition every element, every three marine composition by an edge. We will now construct also nodes of this graph by representing them as two mers, as we did before. Now, to construct the brain graph from k composition, let's do exactly the same we did before. Let's just glue identically labeled nodes. For example, AA and AA are identically labeled Let's glue them together, bring them a little bit closer, and finally glue. Let's continue with AT, the same thing, GC. Continue, 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 continue again, more, more. And finally, we are getting the same pass that we were getting as if genome would be known. But we haven't done yet this gluing because there are, of course, other vertices to glue. And we proceed exactly the same way as we were proceeding in the case uh, when genome was known, and finally construct the De Bruyne graph. So what we have just shown that even in the case genome is unknown, we can construct the same De Bruyne graph as in the case the genome is known. And this is great, which means that the next step we need to address is how to find Eulerian passes in this genome. So for construction of De Bruyne graphs, the algorithm is very simple. We simply need to represent every k mer as an edge between its prefix and its suffix. And afterward, glue all nodes with these identical labels. It is a two-line algorithm. If you implemented it, that you have already figured out that there is a different way to look at De Bruyne graph. If we are given a collection of k mer we can form nodes of the graph of all k minus 1 mers from this collection. And for each k mer from the composition, we can connect its prefix nodes with its suffix node by an edge. These are two equivalent definitions of the De Bruyne graph. And now let me explain what was De Bruyne contribution to this area and why these graphs are called De Bruyne graphs. De Bruyne graphs have great applications of biology in biology, but De Bruyne, of course, did not know this because he was interested in purely mathematical abstract problems. He tried to solve so-called universal string problem, which is finding a circle of string containing each binary camera exactly once. Here are all eight binary cameras. Can we find a string that contains each of them exactly once? We can. This is a string, and if you check for each binary three mers, you will find it appearing in the string along the circle if you travel along the circle clockwise. For example, for this three mer, uh, it appears uh, along the circle. But how can we construct the string? Is it even possible for all possible values of k? Well, the only thing we need to do, we need to represent each of these uh, binary camera as an edge, right? Because it should be a camera composition of the string we are trying to find. 
Afterwards, we need to construct De Bruyne graph from these uh, isolated edges. And the De Bruyne graph will look like this. And afterwards, simply look for already cycles in this graph, cycles rather than passes, because De Bruyne was interested in finding circular strength. Can you find an already cycle in this graph? And how can it help us to find a universal string? Let's see. Let's start working here. And we immediately uh, 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 get insight into the first three uh, elements of the string. Let's continue this way. And when we travel through the graph, the string is enlarging and enlarging and enlarging. And finally, we constructed a universal string. The fact that the graph is already in implies that every camera appears exactly once in this circular string. But what about this four universal string const constructed from all four mirrors? Or what about 10, all 10 mirrors? In this case, the graph will consist of thousands nodes. Does it have an already cycle? If yes, how can we find it? We'll answer this question in the next segment.